Neil drives his car 700 miles in two days. At this rate, how far could he drive in 11 days? Sometimes when doing problems like this, it's just nice to take the information as it comes to us from left to right as we read it. And we will be setting up a proportion. So Neil drives his car 700 miles in two days. At that rate, how far could he drive in 11 days? Now, of course, the 11 days needs to be written down here, and the unknown is the number of miles. So notice how everything matches. Over here, this information is about the first two days. This is about, both of these things are about what will happen after 11 days. The tops are both about distance and the bottoms are both about days. So we have set up our proportions so that everything is correct. Now we simply need to multiply and solve it. So 700 times 11 is equal to 2 times x. We will divide by 2 on both sides. And it turns out that the result is 3,850 miles. Okay, let's do another one. Adam buys five gallons of gas for four days of mowing. How many gallons will he need for 31 days? setting up a proportion and reading from left to right, five gallons will work for four days. How many gallons will he need for 31 days? So once again, let's look at the setup of the proportion. The first fraction has to do with what he already knows the first four days. The next fraction has to do with the new information. The numerators both deal with gallons and the denominators both deal with days. So that means that we have set up this proportion in an acceptable manner. Let's multiply out. So we will have 5 times 31 equals 4 times x. That is 155, which equals 4x. We will now divide by 4 on both sides, giving us 38.75 gallons as the value for x.